now the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. One day. We gonna work it out. One day. One day. We gonna work it out. One day. One day. We gonna work it out. I have a dream. I got a dream. One day. Show of hands, how many people think life is hard right now? <laughs> like, be honest, be honest. You guys want to communicate, we can communicate. How many people are in school right now? <laughs> how many people think school is hard? All right, now I need everyone to be honest right now. Be very honest with me. How many people think from time to time about dropping out of school? <laughs> for those who put your hands up, <laughs> for those who put your hands up, honestly, don't do it. All right, because for me, I'm not saying that I dropped out of school, but I'm in my first year of university. I'm studying to become a pediatrician, and it's hard. Does anyone know what a pediatrician is, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't say it. <laughs> no one know what it is? It is a doctor, it's a, it's a family doctor for children. Yeah. Did you know? Um, <laughs> don't drop out of school. Honestly, it just gets harder. Who's in high school? High school. It gets harder out of there. In, in high school, Everyone has a name, everyone has like a OEN number, is that what it's called? Yeah. When, once you graduate from high school, you're just gonna like be nothing but a student number. But what I wanna try to tell you guys is that I want you guys to expand more than just a number. I want you guys to think outside the box. I want you guys to actually see your future and go for it. If you guys are just gonna like look at your future but then like you see like the path along, you see like school, you see homework, you see studying, you see a bunch of people, you see, you see cute girls in the way and they're all trying to get at you, or cute guys, right, per se. If you're a girl. If you're a girl. God. What I'm saying is like, <laughs> what, who, who has a big, who has a goal in mind that they want to reach? Does anyone want to share that goal? So, back row, what's up? Um, my goal is to uh, pass high school and uh, go to psychologist. Sick, sick, sick. Now, that's not That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, You guys know what psychologist is? Hopefully. I wish I had one. Do it. Oh, 220 per hour. Depending on the psychologist, they can make from like 120 to like 335 an hour. That's a did you know fact right there. Psychologist. Yo, psychologist, what do you think like you're going to have to do to become a psychologist to graduate high school? I have to get good grades, and I have to be able to understand people. No, no, I'm not a right shot, yeah. Of course, I have to understand people. It's all about the mind. But to like, kind of like piggyback on that a little bit, yes, you're going to have to like, pass your class, get good grades, communicate and understand other people. But what's, a, what's important about it is the grind. You know what I mean? If like, um, like, like what's doing what's seen before, and it, and it really like, spoke out to me too is that if you don't really have the passion for what you want to do or what you love to do, truth is you're not going to make it. Because all you're thinking about, like like I said, all, all you think about is the hard work and you think about, you know what, I like that job. I can get a lot of money from that job. Probably get any car I want, own a bigger house than DJ Khaled. I have the key instead of him. He does. You know what I mean? But get it. <laughs> but people nowadays are just lazy. Like, lazy to just, you know, get up, exercise a bit, and go to school, 
people are just lazy to go after what they want, even though it's right there. If I place twenty dollars on this floor, who would get it right now? I don't have it. I want to touch it. If I place twenty dollars here, who would get it? If I place fifty dollars here, who would get it? If I just pulled out a suitcase out of nowhere, a hundred grand in, who would get it? Now, now, to say, now, now, now let's say this. The hundred grand is right here. I walk away. I pull a rope. You see scorpions. You see snakes. You see fire. You see. You see a hole. You see a like. You see a trap. Everything that is. Everything that's blocking you from getting that goal. How many people would still get it? But the, but the thing is that you you're not going. In, I'm not giving any weapons to like destroy anything or any like or any of that. Just you. Think about your the biggest fear, and your fears right there are blocking from your prize. Saves up for those nice Yeezys he wants, nice J's he wants, or any like, like imagine you can have any shoe you want. You just go out and get it. And he comes back and shows his friend, like, yo, check these out, man. I worked out for this man. I'm telling you, it is on fleek right now. What would you do if the person who did nothing just came up and be like, yeah, I like those, and just take them off your feet? How would you feel? <laughs> how would you feel? Be honest, how would you feel? <laughs> See, and that's the thing in this world. People want to take what you worked for, but they don't want to go out and get it themselves. <laughs> Same thing, like, like all the balls over here. I'm pretty sure you guys have some like six skills right now. Like, like you go in the gym and I said, yo, I want you to do some. I don't know, some sick drills you guys would show me. People are dying to have moves like you. But because they can't have it like you, they rather, they rather like, I don't know, call their boys up, make sure that you never play ball again. Because all <laughs> no, I like the communication, that's good. But the crowd's up here. Why are you just trying to eat? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that Life is going to come at you, it's going to hit you, it's going to beat you to your knees. It's going to take long suffering, but, what, but are, you, are you going to give up or are you just going to like proceed with it? Are you going to go through the wilderness? Are you going to go through your tribulation? Are you going to fight for what you want? Instead of someone coming to you here and saying, yo, you can't ball, you can't dance, you can't rap. Like, don't listen to those negative thoughts. Those negative thoughts should encourage you to be better than what they're saying to you right now. Because if, because if someone, because if, if the neurologists and the psychologists and the crim and, and criminology get together and they all be like, hey, I'm getting a lot of negative feedback or and, and whatnot, and I don't think that like people are, are like really seeing on the same page I'm on. Like, how can I say? He could say that he wants to be a bomber. You say you want to be a rapper. Both of you guys tell each other, I don't think you're going to make it because it's too hard. And then the other person's like, yeah, hey, watch out in two years. Watch out in two years. Come back with a mixtape, the other guy gets like drafted or something. Those negative thoughts should be your, should, should be your trigger. It, it, should, it should like get you in your heart and be like, I'm going to prove you wrong. The motivation. You think, you think I'm not going to do it? You think I'm not going to succeed? Watch out. I'm going to let you have your laugh now. 
but I'll be laughing when the money is rolling in my bank account. Mm. <laughs> Take risks. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. To be honest, I didn't think that I was going to have a company like this. I started this last year, and I've sold over like 200 shirts and sweaters together. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that I was actually going to build something that reflects on me. Same thing what Dwayne said before. What is your like to to have to find what your what you want to do in life, what your career is like. Just because someone says you're not going to make it to the NBA, doesn't mean you have to listen to them. It's their thoughts. But as long as you have that fire, you have that drive, you can pursue whatever you want to do. Nothing is impossible. As long as you put God first in here and in everything you do, you know that saying, let go and let God? You're going to be unstoppable. Mm. I've been through. I have people, I, I, I had and still have people trying to take this name down because they think it's theirs. Mm. I have people trying to take me down because they think I owe them something. You guys owe nobody anything. You guys are your own person. You guys are unique. And like, don't, don't think like an easy way to get money is to like, oh, oh, I'm gonna sell drugs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the corner and do all of that. No, it's, it's honest, because I, I, have, I, have, I, have I have family members that are, that are either in jail right now on the street, or dead. Last thing I want is anyone else to be on the news, saying like, oh, we have another black man got shot. Oh, oh, another person's in jail. Aren't you guys like tired of, of, of um, people looking down at you? Aren't you tired of like feeling that pain in your heart? That's saying like, why is another person dying every day? What is wrong with people? You know, like we all have to like look at our look at ourselves and be like, how how can we change? How can we change this environment we live in? How can we be better than who we are right now? That's why I created this. Based on the two stories, not only for like, oh, I want the money. Oh, I have a I have a logo. I want a brand to produce. Yeah, it's a brand, but there's a meaning behind it. Whatever you have went through before, you can use that negative. You can use that negative past into something positive. That's based on the true story. I will, like I once I once rolled my ankle, went been on crutches, and now I've been exercising. Now I'm back in the game, and now I'm the top MVP for everything. That's based on the true story. I used to push drugs, but now I'm pushing the scripture and the Bible for the Lord. That's based on the true story. <laughs> Don't please. Stop 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 I need everyone, please, right now. I, I've been through everything. I, 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 not everything, I still have a lot to go through, but I need one to make a vow right now that no matter what anyone says to you, no matter who may be trying to take you down, even family and friends, they could be jealous of you too because they have something that they don't have. I'm sorry, take that back. You have something that they don't have. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let anyone take that away from you. Even though it's hard, push through. Every season must come to an end. You think we're going to be in winter forever? There's bound to be a spring. Like winter may like come one, once or twice, but like if you just like focus on summer, summer's bound to happen. And that could be your riches to everything. So if so if you guys are with me on this vow, I need you guys to raise your hand and promise me no matter what someone tells you, you're going to be the best of the best. No one's gonna no one's gonna like put a negative spirit inside you. You're going to be faith, you're going to be faithful to your dream, faithful to your skill, and put everything in your heart into what you want to do. Amen. <laughs> now I know I know like I'm supposed to be like be cracking like a little one two joke here, but I know yeah. <laughs> I know that um oh you guys can put your hand up again. You guys have to be proud. I just wanna encourage you guys. I just I, I know what it's like to be denied by a lot of people. I know what it's like to like be heartbroken. I know what it's like to be pushed around. I know what it's like for me I don't I don't I'm not gonna speak for everyone, but I know what it's like to like lose a father, not like in a dead way, but I know what it's like for him to walk away in front of you and says, you, you're your mother's issue now. Take care of your siblings, do whatever you want to do. 
I know what it's like to pick up your siblings from school. I know what it's like to work three jobs and still have to provide for your family as well, too, while in school. I know what it's like to study, stay up till 3 a.m. and have to go to school for an 8 a.m. class. I know, it's hard. It's hard, it's going to get hard. I'm not gonna BS everything. It is going to get hard. It is. But whatever you have in your heart, you guys need to push through. You guys need to push through, because I sacrifice, for me to build this, like, I sacrifice $2,000 I didn't even have. I don't know where I got it, but all I know is that my God provided me with it to start this vision I had. I, I drew my vision out. I believed that it was going to happen. Now it's happening. And I believe that years down the road, you guys are going to see other people rocking this too. So I'm just here to say, don't give up. Keep your mind focused. The negative friends you hang out with who are bad influence on you who ruined your spirit, kick them out of your life. Who needs them? You came to this world by yourself. True. You think you're going to die with them? True. The only friend, father, brother, best friend you should have is God because he can provide all your needs. Just turn yourself to him first. Before I end this off, I just want to say a quick prayer with you guys. So if you guys just let me, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, I'd like to say thank you for this opportunity to speak amongst the youth, oh God. I'd like to say thank you for opening up their minds, opening up their knowledge and their wisdom, oh God. I'd like to say thank you for giving us life, giving us the ability to speak, for us to have, still have our five senses, for us to be alive. We could walk outside right now, oh God, and anything could happen to us. We could be killed, we could be shot, anything could happen to God. But because you were protecting us, I ask you, to cover everyone in this room right now, God. I ask you to give them willpower. I ask you to give them strength, courage, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. I ask you to make them be the best of the best. Give them the confidence they need, oh God. Make them pursue their dream, oh God, and make them grind out till the end, until they have reached their goal, oh God. With you, the sky is never the limit because you are infinity. You are, you are Mr. Possible. You make things all right. Make them be the leader, never the follower, the head, never the tail, the lender, and never the borrower, the top, and never the bottom, oh God. For you are with us, and we are with you, and we love you. In your, in your name we pray, amen. 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 And I know I'm supposed to like give a performance right now, so no further ado, let's get to it. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, let's sit down. What? <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions? So, Jacket? Um, Check out the website. Yeah. A, hmm? You can get on the website. Uh, at Boats Inc. B O A T S I N C. Dot Big Cartel, not Badge Cartel. B I G C A R T E L dot com. Do you have a card? Card? Oh, man. I'm on the grind right now. And I'm on Instagram too. At Boats dot Inc. Twitter, INC, Boats, everything the same. If you guys need any, like, if you guys need any questions, you want to ask me personally, I'll be on the side. I'm still going to be here. All right? Don't be shy. I'm not scared. So, Jackets, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>